In today's video I'm going to compare the two versions of Lumion 11.5, the standard and the pro. My name is Katarina, I'm a garden designer and I see you next. So welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools and today's video is all about comparing the two versions of your Lumion uh, 11.5 okay so the standard and the pro as you know or if you don't I'll let you know now I always use the Lumion pro version I think and in, and you're gonna see it I'm gonna explain you why okay but straight away I'm gonna tell you that is my opinion that if you're gonna invest in a program like Lumion you should go for the pro version if you're a landscaper if you're a garden designer okay and I'll tell you why in a bit okay straight away uh, the main difference is one it's half the price of the other so Lumion standard it's 1500 euro the ver the Lumion pro it's um, basically 3000 okay plus tax don't forget okay so all the prices that you see on site it's uh, without tax uh, so let's go I now will talk a little bit about the the different things okay so let's go to the overview um, of course you know uh, straight away the, the, the big difference you're gonna see it's the content library okay and this is a big big thing for me because you have uh, basically in the standard Lumion version you have one third of the library this will not be so bad if you didn't actually um, use a lot of the planting um, in Lumion okay of course you could say okay uh, with the money I save I can go and purchase plants uh, the problem is it's every time you've purchased and I've shown you in the in the um, in the in the other videos where I actually purchase a plant they are really um, beautifully worked uh, 3d models with a lot of detail and if using a lot of that plants in your models inside Lumion your workflow is going to be really is going to really really suffer okay so you're going to start working really slow uh, things are going to you know you're going to get annoyed so the default Lumion library are you maybe sometimes they even use the, to, the face me texture kind of things um, that makes it lighter it still works fine and um, and they are much more um, uh, they are uh, thought about and done uh, really for Lumion and for the the workflow that Lumion has okay so you know in terms it's going to be much faster your your work if using a uh, Lumion default library in terms of planting of course you have the diff the fine detail nature only on your Lumion Pro version okay so this is one of the things you don't have on the standard version so let's go quickly um, through okay you have the price okay that's that's uh, that's a big thing uh, of course it's half the price um, but f to be honest if you if you if the price is your concern I will think about twin motion maybe okay um, even Lumion standard version versus the twin motion I think um, the case could be done could be made that you might be better served using twin motion to be honest um, in here in the import uh, the, the background uh, music is the only big thing difference not a, a, a major concern uh, as you can see here you have all the output and I'll add links for this of course um, all the, the outputs for um, for the two versions again not a big thing you can um, there isn't a big difference in here um, the content library this is where you actually start seeing a big big difference okay especially again fine detail uh, nature uh, the default nature library so that's the main concerns I've got as a garden designer or landscaper um, this is a big thing for me okay so let's go and view the library so for you to, to, to just have a, a quick uh, feel about it so in here you have all the library of the Lumion Pro okay uh, so you have all the the, the the amazing planting all this is in Lumion Pro version okay so let's go in here sorry so the standard version as you can see the ones that are with the shadow um, on top they only in the pro 
version okay so straight away all this is all the fine detail nature library and as you can see here let's go to the planting i will not so worry about all the little you know things for the inside of the house of course uh, but as you can see you have a lot of the trees and this will be very annoying you know if you're using lumion this will be and you want uh, as much planting as possible um, for you to choose, for you to show to your client the best way you can, the ideas for your garden design layout, etc. This will be really annoying to me. I, this is the main thing, just this, in terms of planting, that I'll definitely not uh, choose the standard version, okay? I will always go for the pro version. If you can't really afford the pro version, I can I, I think that the case again can be made that you better served using twin motion and purchasing plants twin motion i believe maximum is it's 400 and something um maybe 500 euro so you know it's one third of the standard version price so or you go to the pro version in lumion or you go to the twin motion and you purchase um 3d planting okay so as you can see all this that has pro written on it is only in the pro version plus the materials and this is what you know for me there is two things in terms of materials that you have in the pro version that you don't have in the standard and this it's it's the thing that really is going to make the difference and that is 3d grass and the leaves material that you can add to any material in Lumion, okay? So one of the most beautiful things, and I think it was around Lumion 10, if I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that you've got these uh, leaves, that the 3D leaves that you can add to any material or any surfaces, and it's amazing if you want creepers uh, climbing through the house wall, things like this. It can be it can be so creative using this. You can do straight edges using geometrical shapes in your model and just adding the leaves after on top. This is amazing. Okay, plus the the 3D grass blades. You know you are not going to be able to have 3D grass inside the Lumion standard version, okay? And this, again, the plant material was already a big thing. This for me was like, okay, without this, it's no point, really. Um, I'm being maybe a bit dramatic about it, but I really want to come across because you might think, oh, but I'm okay, I can still do things. If you just want okay, and if you're not, if you, if you, if you can, if you think that, the the 3d grass it's not a big thing and the, that the the leaves uh, material is not a big thing just go for twin motion to be honest okay in here i think you really need to go for the pro version if you're gonna if you really want to 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 use this program um in the its whole potential okay so again as you can see you have some styles some title style of course this is like little things that for you now you'll feel like mm, oh, i can live without that uh, another one that i use a lot in fire pits and outdoor fireplace is the volumetric fire it's beautifully done and you know this is again only in the pro version uh furry materials i don't use a lot so you know i'm okay with that hdr skies i use this a lot in here you have uh, 44 comparing with the standard version 39 and pure glass i use sometimes but rarely only on a pro version um again lights and utilities a bit more uh, but i could live with that um but as you can see you know you have some uh, differences okay um you know you still have real skies i thought real skies was only in the lumion pro uh but you know for at least uh, since 11 in 11.5 it's in both versions okay so you know that's cool um workflow and synchronization again more or less the same uh you have open street uh, map um only on a pro version 
and uh, the project uh, I rarely use this to be honest the merge of project files um, and again you have the effects okay so as you can see here some of the effects you don't have rain for example in the standard version so you know some of the effects is not they are not so in your face like the the lumion the um, the plant library and the the 3d grass and the the, um, the leaf material but you're definitely gonna you know when you're gonna want to do something uh, a little bit different you're gonna you're gonna really uh, suffer and think about this for example animated phasing you can't have the animated phasing um and that's uh, something really cool you know that you can animate the project coming together or the different stages and do a really cool animation um this is only in the pro version okay so you know just go through if you really thinking about one version or the other you know just check out this link in the end of this in the description of this video sorry so you know you can really um, see uh, the differences uh, speed ray reflections again you know this really improves the quality of the reflection planes and this is something only in the pro version okay uh, and a special 112 effects so you have here the volumetric uh, fire really cool uh, falling leaves not something i use a lot the fountains the waterfalls uh, the regular fire uh, effects smoke i use smoke quite a bit dust uh, fog and steam okay again the pure glass and the foliage uh miscellaneous let's check it out so you know not a difference um and here you have all the so animated phasing it's something really cool uh rain streaks mm, something i could live without volumetric fire is pretty cool metallic you can see here fine detail aurora borealis i i could live without I think this is one of the things okay it looks great you're doing amazing but it's not realistic you're not doing um or you know in general most of us are not doing projects that you see or borealis um photo matching mm, it's okay customizable 3d grass as you can see here atmospheric rain and snow uh, furry materials i could live without but as you can see here you start um look this is one of that ones that they might escape you but it's actually uh pretty pretty good to do and to pay attention because as i uh, as i always say you don't have really straight edge materials in the real world very very rarely so softening a little bit the edge of certain junctions of materials or certain pergola or something like this just makes it that little bit more realistic okay and this is a setting you only have in lumion pro as again speed ray reflections foliage material like i've talked about area lights and line lights the line lights i use like to 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 actually do like led strips you know you have that only in lumion pro uh, sound effects ambient effects this i could live without to be honest and of course you have people um advanced uh, 3d tile effects uh so you know this is some some things you might you know not be too worry about but i think the ones i've talked about are really the main concern if you're working with gardens if you're working with the landscape that's my main focus okay so let me know what you think let me know if you have any questions okay so i really think you should really invest in the in the best program you can afford of course um if you really you know can't afford lumion pro think about twin motion think about other uh, programs in the market much more affordable uh to be honest if it's in a, a, a comparison between uh, lumion standard and twin motion i'll probably you know go for twin motion um because it's a third of the price and if you don't have like things like 3d grass the leaf material the, the lumion library of planting um you might as well go for twin motion in my opinion let me know what you think and if you have any questions at all see you guys in the next one
just a quick add-on before we go okay so i just wanted to show you again press again the importance of the 3d leaves so this is a 3d leaf material applied to a geometrical rectangular shape done in sketchup okay so this is the kind of thing you can do with the 3d leaves okay and it is really amazing of course you could always apply a 2d material that looks a bit like a shrub uh, texture uh, but you know it's not the same thing uh, and again let me just go and show you the grass blade material okay again this is only in lumion pro version okay let me go here and you have this in various so the 3d leaves all these leaves nine leaves you can apply you don't have in standard version plus the 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 3d grass okay so let me go here to the sun and you have 3d grass that's customizable okay so if you double click uh, you have coloration you have gravity you have bending force of the blades you have the size of course the length beautiful settings that you know really change the way you look at the garden especially if, uh, regarding your clients idea okay of you know really having this realistic grass and you have different types of grasses okay you have all this wild grass if you want um you know a more meadowy kind of look and again all this customizable checkboard okay, in here you don't not gonna able to see because of the shade here but beautiful beautiful textures okay plus all the other um plants uh, check out the, the the link and you see the difference of the number of plants you have available in the standard and the pro version and plus the uh, detail uh, fine detail nature library you have none of this in the in the um, in the standard version and this is beautiful done of course heavier on your workflow 3d uh, plant material okay uh still not as many as i would like of course i always want more plants but still beautifully a uh, boxwood planting um you know a little bit more boxwood beautiful planting that you have available in the limion pro this was just a quick add-on to show you a little bit what i was talking about see you guys in the next one